Hey guys, it's me Nicole and the seasons are about to change which means a lot but specific to this video it means that we will be watching some new things on TV. So I wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up on what's on our list for um, September and October and moving forward from there there's a lot of our favorite shows that are coming back and there's some new shows that are starting up so that's really exciting. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start um, I'm going to go through, maybe I should tell you what's on, what, you, what do you think? Should I tell you what's on what each network? Would that work better? Okay, so on NBC, there's, there's four new shows. Yes. One is The Voice, and actually that's not a new show, it's a returning show, and it has the four judges, the uh, Christina Aguilera, CeeLo Green, Adam Levine, and can't remember his name but he's married to Miranda Lambert Do you know what I'm talking about um, anyways it's just a singing competition um, the thing that's different about this singing competition is that the judges in the beginning they start out facing away from the performers so they have to judge them specifically on their voice and not how they look so I like that perspective of it otherwise it's like a not as good version of the X Factor for me personally Okay, also on NBC there's going to be like a little half an hour comedy show called Go On and it focuses on a guy that just lost his wife and so he joins a support group. So that's going to be a comedy and it's going to be on NBC. Also on NBC on Wednesdays is going to be Animal Practice. It follows a guy who is running a animal hospital. And then after that is Guys with Kids which follows, um, I'm assuming, some stay at home dads. So those are some pretty funny shows that are coming up. I don't know if there's any like serious shows on NBC that I would be into this season. But yeah, that's NBC. Alright, moving on. Let's do the CW or WGN, which is what I call it. But I think it's the CW now, like officially, right? Anyways, there's a show called Emily Owens MD, and you will find out through the rest of the list that my husband and I have been really into like medical dramas lately, so that's supposed to be another medical drama, so we'll see if we like that or not. I hope you do. That's going to be on Tuesdays. On Wednesdays is going to be Supernatural. Now, if you're a Supernatural fan, you need to take note of this because Supernatural has changed nights several times in the past few years. I believe the year that we started watching it, it was on Thursdays, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was on right after Vampire Diaries, the first season that Vampire Diaries was on. Then they changed it to Friday night, and then they changed it to Saturday night. They are now changing it to Wednesday night. So if you are a Supernatural fan, you need to make sure that you are tuning in on Wednesday and not any of those other nights. It's on Wednesday. It's going to be starting on October 3rd. If you do not know what Supernatural is, it's hard to explain. Well, not, not really. It's about two brothers that are fighting all these supernatural forces, whether they be monsters or vampires or demons or angels. Lately, it's turned into a lot more demons and angels type things, shapeshifters, whatever. They fight these things. It's a lot more easier to understand if you watch it from episode one, season one. Um, my husband and I tried to wa start watching it like in the middle of season four or season five, I can't remember, and we were like kind of confused because a lot of some of their shows are like by themselves and then some of the shows tie back into past shows. So I would recommend if you haven't watched it in the past, go ahead and, and start watching it from the beginning if it sounds like something that interests you. I really like it. Um, otherwise, if you already watch it, it's coming back and it's on a different night. So make sure you take note of that. Okay, also on the CW is there's going to be two shows on Thursday nights that we're going to be watching. Number one is Vampire Diaries because duh, we love Vampire Diaries, okay? And also, if you are subscribed to my channel, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe because I will be doing a Vampire Diaries tag uh, soon. There was a Vampire Diaries tag that came out at the end of the season last year, and I was debating on whether I wanted to do it and get it up then or if I wanted to wait till the season came back and I decided that I was going to wait. So I will be doing the Vampire Diaries tag soon. We love Vampire Diaries. Okay, and then after Vampire Diaries is a new show called Beauty and the Beast and I'm assuming that it's going to be like an adult, darker take on Beauty and the Beast and I love Beauty and the Beast so we are going to check that out. Okay, that's all that's on the CW. Now, let's go and look for... Okay, there's one show on FX, and it's called Sons of Anarchy. It's more for my husband than for me. It's more of a manly show. Sons of Anarchy follows a biker gang, or a biker club, or whatever. And he really, really loves that show. It's pretty dark. It's pretty gritty. I definitely wouldn't recommend you watch it in front of your kids, or in earshot of your kids, or anything like that. It is very, very 
gritty and dark so but it is it's a manly show it's very manly so that is what he will be watching and I like to I like to watch it too I like the storyline and things like that I just don't necessarily like the mindset of it but I have to keep in mind it is a TV show okay that's the only one on FX now let's go to ABC ABC I love ABC lately I've been loving a lot more of their shows okay so on ABC there's gonna be private practice which um, is kind of like a partner to Grey's Anatomy and Grey's Anatomy is also coming back and that's gonna be on Thursdays so private practice is on Tuesdays and Grey's Anatomy is on Thursdays and they're both like medical dramas private um, Grey's Anatomy is more of like a big hospital atmosphere and private practice is a private practice okay and then on Friday, there's two shows on ABC. One is called Shark Tank. Shark Tank is one of those shows that I hated when my parents would have it on. Like, we'd go visit my parents and they'd have it on. And I'm like, this show is so boring and stupid. <laughs> and I didn't like it. But then, um, over the summer, Robert started watching it on either Hulu. I think it was Hulu. And I kind of got into it. It's about these small business owners that come in or they have great ideas or they, or they want to patent their product. And they want to pitch it to these big executives and they want them to invest in them. So, um, and it kind of goes back and forth between the investors and whether they're gonna go ahead and invest in their business or not. Some of the businesses are great, some of them are kind of dumb, and I think that that's one of the reasons why I didn't like it whenever I would watch it at my parents' house because I just caught them on the wrong like business owners, like ones that were really stupid. <laughs> so, um, I re there's, but there, there's like a lot of really, really great small businesses out there and people that have great ideas, so. Um, I really like watching that and then there's also a show that's going to be coming on I believe right after that and it's called What Would You Do? And it's basically like a candid camera type of show where the network or the producer goes out and they create these situations and then they catch passersby's reactions to these situations. So I remember one of the situations were that um, they had this minivan and they had this crying baby noise coming out of it to make it seem like there was a crying baby in the car, locked in the car and they taped the reactions of the people walking by and what they did and uh, it's, it, I think it's, it's, it's interesting to see how people react but it's also interesting to kind of be introspective about it and be like wow what would I do if I was caught in that same situation so I like that show a lot I don't always catch it I hope they have it on on demand this year but um, I don't know it's good it actually we don't have anything else for Friday night so that might we might actually be able to watch it on Friday night okay and then on Sunday night is the other time when ABC like takes over um, there's three shows on ABC that night so we'll just have it that's gonna be our ABC night so once upon a time is coming back it is about it's like a darker more adult version of all the Disney fairy tales that you grew up with and basically there's a curse on all of the fairy tale characters that has landed them in our world and um, they're trying to get back to the fairy tale world so if you haven't watched season one go pick it up go rent it go watch it on Hulu or wherever you can get it watch it and then it will be coming back on Sunday September 30th <laughs> okay also on September 30th Revenge will be back it is about this little girl who her dad was framed for um, this big huge con conspiracy and he was put into jail and then while he was in jail he was murdered and so she grew up thinking that her dad was this horrible person and then she comes to find out when she's a teenager that he was framed and that um, it was this big conspiracy so she then makes it her life's purpose to wreak revenge wreak to get revenge on everybody that betrayed her father so it's a very dark, very intense, very smart show, and we like it a lot. So that will be on after Once Upon a Time. And then after that is going to be a show called 666 Park Avenue, and I actually have no idea what it's about. But um, the previews were very mysterious and dark, and they intrigued me. So we're going to be tuning in for that. Okay, what's after ABC? Fox. Fox. What's going to be on Fox? Okay. So on Tuesday night is the Mindy Project. I believe it's going to be like a comedy following a OBGYN. I'm not for sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Okay, also on Fox is going to be The X Factor, and that is with Simon Cowell, Britney Spears, Demi Lovato, and this dude who's a record executive. I don't ever remember his name. I'm so sorry. Um, but I like The X Factor over The Voice because it allows the 
performers to be themselves and be original but they're still very 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 talented and I loved it we loved it all last year we tuned in for every episode we never got sick of it and we, we liked pretty much all of the contestants we really really liked it and if they would have I don't know if they had a tour or not um, but if they had a tour we were like oh we would go see like that the top 12 or whatever we would go see them on tour we really liked them and they have um, how they categorize it is they have like an over 30s group they have a uh, a group where it's like groups of people and then they have like um, I think it's kids up to the age of or no it's boys girls over 30 and groups so those are like the different um, categories and none of the other singing competitions have that so I really like that uh, da, 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 da. what else is on Fox and actually that's on two nights so that's gonna be on Wednesday and Thursday night so you will get a double dose of that every week okay and then on CBS there's two shows I think this year yeah two shows one is Survivor and you've got to have something to hold you over between Big Brother seasons <laughs> And I get sad because I love Big Brother so much and I wish that they had two seasons. Like I wish they had a summer season and a winter season, but they don't. They only have one season a year and it makes me so sad. And I almost want to like start a petition because I know there's a lot of other Big Brother lovers out there that would love to see Big Brother more than once a year. Um, because I love it so much. But they've already gone through 13 seasons, so I doubt if they haven't changed it this far, they probably won't. But um, we love Big Brother. So in between Big Brother seasons, in between summer and summer, we need to have something to hold us over. And we love Survivor. So this season, Survivor takes place in the Philippines. So that's, uh, I think most people know what Survivor is. If you don't, then message me and I'll explain it to you. Okie dokie. What else? Oh, and then on, that's on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, there's going to be a show called Elementary. And I believe it's going to be like a little crime drama that um, is kind of like, they're, they're, they talk about Sherlock Holmes and Watson in the previews. So I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a takeoff of Sherlock Holmes and Watson. So I love the mystery aspect of shows and things like that. I used to watch crime dramas all the time. We used to watch CSI like it was going out of style, Criminal Minds, all of those shows. And I've kind of gotten out of it. I've kind of gotten a little paranoid since I became a parent. And so I don't watch those shows as much as I used to. But this one looks like it's interesting. So we will go ahead and try that one out. Okay, then there is a show called Nail Files, and that's on TV Guide Network. I'm not sure what day it is. You'll have to check your listings on that. But um, Nail Files, it, it follows a woman who owns a nail salon in either Beverly Hills or Hollywood or somewhere over there. And it's really interesting. I really like it a lot. And she's really, she's got like a really bubbly personality, and I really like it. And then there's another show on Sci-Fi called Face Off and it follow it's a competition show that follows these makeup artists who do special effects makeup and it's amazing what these people come up with um, their skill is amazing their creativity is just off the charts and my husband and I really really enjoy it there's a cardinal outside my window hello pretty birdie You're so beautiful oh my goodness um, anywho so that's on sci-fi and then um, I was trying to find what shows are on TLC because there's a lot of shows like on TLC, Discovery Channel, HGTV, um, and things like that that I really love, but I can never find the listings for them until the shows have already started. So I went looking on the TLC website trying to see if I could figure out um, some of my shows when they were coming back so I could let you guys know. But I couldn't find anything. But what I could find was um, there is a show that they have on their website that's called the conception story you know like if you have watched um, TLC in the morning you know they have baby story they have what I don't know if they still have do they still have wedding story on they used to have a wedding story baby story um, and they used to have one like a dating story or something like that where they would like go on blind dates um, but this one's called the conception story and I thought oh my goodness what a great show it, that would be for all of my friends that are TTCing to watch so um, that is I will put the link in below so you guys can go check that show out that is not airing on TV that is only like they have webisodes so you can check that out but I thought I would let you guys know about it so anywho this is like a super long video and it always is but I don't find any way to make it any shorter so I hope you guys have enjoyed if there's any shows that you love leave them in the comments below if I should check them out if you are from a different area if you're outside of the United States and you don't have these shows let me know what your favorite shows are in your country I love to find out like 
what's popular in different areas of the world and things like that. So let me know. I love hearing from you guys. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.